Things went from bad to worse at Stellantis, the parent company of Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram, that they just announced that they were gonna be cutting back production, hundreds of thousands of vehicles, their stock price is plummeting, they're being sued from pretty much everyone, and they're finally ponying up the big bucks on incentives to try and move some of their vehicles that dealers have had for upwards of two years. We've been documenting Stellantis for a while now. What the heck is going on and what's the big breaking news? Well, the big breaking news is Stellantis has finally decided to address the elephant in the room. And the elephant, I guess, apparently got way too big for them to ignore it anymore, and that was dealer inventory. And dealers have been complaining to Stellantis for the past 18 months that they need help selling the, the inventory that's been stacking up. So Stellantis has finally come to this decision that they want no more than 330,000 units in dealer inventory in the future. And on top of that, in order to get there, they've decided they have to cut 200,000 units out of production. Um, it seems to me it would have worked out better had they just put big money on these things two years ago. Big money meaning incentives, which Stellantis has been very far behind their peers in terms of how much in incentives they're spending to sell their vehicles. Let's just start here, Dad. Stellantis has been cutting back on production well before this big announcement of 200,000. The way we've seen that show up is actually in the form of uh, uh, layoffs. We've seen mm -hmm. many production lines cut back and layoffs at the staff level. We have also seen executive turnover. So all sorts of executives, with the exception of the CEO, have been let go. We have also seen vehicles that are 2023s, 2024s, and 2025s all new on dealer lots at the same exact time. Dealers have almost a mutiny against the brand. They've come out and publicly, you know, uh, uh, really- Wrote a letter. Yeah, wrote a letter and really like, we can bleep these videos. Talked the brand saying, hey, you're ruining this. Yes. Suppliers are coming after them because they feel like they're getting nickel and dime. Like there is all sorts of bad news when it comes to Stellantis. And for them to finally say, you know what? We recognize that elephant in the room is we've produced too many, too expensive, too many vehicles that are too expensive. Now we're finally going to rein that in. 200,000 vehicles not being produced is going to have a huge ripple effect. Oh, absolutely. There are UAW workers that are going to find themselves laid off for a time being. Um, if if they're going to cut down the number of shifts that, that they're running at the plants, whatever they have to do to cut out 200,000 units, that's a lot of production. Um, so it means that their plants aren't going to be running at the at the highest capacity levels that they can. So no. the plants become less profitable because they're producing less vehicles. Um, you're laying off people. You have dealers that are turning down allocations. And the only way you're going to get them to take allocations again is by throwing big money, big incentives, both customer incentives and dealership incentives at the dealers and the customers to buy these older aged units. We, and, and they're finally admitting that they're going to do that. We have an example of one. Here's a 2023 brand new Ram 1500 pickup truck. Dad, this is for sale in Scottsdale, Arizona. This dealer has had this thing for 472 days, 432 days, excuse me, at the time of us filming this. It's a $61,000 Ram 1500. We know the invoice price is $57,913. The reason this vehicle has been sitting for so long is because it's so expensive. You go to the yes. dealer's website, they have $15,000 discount. But now, this is kind of the big news from, from Ram, from Stellantis, the parent company, now there's gonna potentially be even more incentives put on this vehicle, both incentives to the dealer to say, hey, we'll give you an extra grand to get rid of this thing, or, hey, customer, surprise, there's a $1,000 cash incentive if you purchase this new 2023. It is abnormal for a brand to have 2023, 2024, and 2025 new vehicle inventory all at the same time. This is how they're trying to finally start to incentivize the movement of these. And what's fascinating about this is we plugged this vehicle into caredge.com slash sell just to get a sense for if I owned it or you owned it and we were selling it back to a dealer, you know, we put a thousand miles in the in the little widget in the calculator. The high offer we got that was thirty nine thousand two hundred dollars, which actually is kind of surprising. Yeah, it seemed like a lot to me it seems like because, a lot. because they're thinking that they can probably turn the car for forty two, forty three thousand dollars. The dealer at this point in time is asking, I think it was 45 to eight. Yep. So maybe what you do if you're a customer, um, you either wait a little longer for, for Ram to increase the size of the incentive, or you go in and say, 
get this thing closer to 40 grand and we have ourselves a car deal. Because that's that's the reality, right? We know what the real value of this oh, vehicle yes. is. The market says that the value is $39,200 or Echo Park would pay $37,545 as a new vehicle with a $61,000 MSRP that has not sold in a year and a half. We know that it is not a $61,000 vehicle. The market's dictating it's a sub $40,000 vehicle. What we really know is back in 2023 when it was brand new, it wasn't really a $61,000 vehicle then. And think about it, the invoice price is almost 58 grand on this thing. Like the dealer's probably gonna end up selling it for what, 42 to 45, somewhere in there? Yes. This is a loser of all losers, or maybe the invoice price is just super inflated to begin with to the dealer. Well, I'm sure there's a, a rather large amount coming back from Stellantis already on it, but- yeah. Um, yeah, they're, they're, they're probably going to take ultimately a loss to get rid of it because, well, it needs to go away. Two more things. One, let's talk about how we got in this situation, which is a very, very simple story. We'll go to that in a second. And then two, let's talk about Stellantis and Q4 end of your car buying, because honestly, this might be perfect. Perfect for people who are interested in Chrysler Dodge Jeep or Ram products. How do we get here? Jeep has increased their average transaction prices by 61% over the past five years. The entire Stellantis brand of the or portfolio of vehicles has it have increased their prices by over 50% in the past five years. The reason we're in this situation is because Stellantis made the, at the executive level, at the corporate level, the decision to make more expensive vehicles and have fewer sales. And we are now seeing the ramifications of that. Correct? Yes, they, they, they abandoned their, their customer base that they had developed over the years, hoping to expand their customer base to a more affluent group of people has not worked out the way they had intended. And so they're sitting on cars that no one ever asked for at these price points. So that's what got them there. They, they got greedy. Yeah. Um, they raised their prices more than anybody else. Uh, they, they were misguided in their calculations as to what people were willing to spend for their products based on past histories. Um, and now we find ourselves where, I mean, in my, in my entire career, I never worked at a dealership where we had three model years of new cars on the ground at the same time. Never. Two, okay, might have a 2018 and, and 2019s, whatever, but never had a 17, 18, and 19, <laughs> never had an 18, 19, or a 20. I, I've never seen that. Yeah. And, and yet we're seeing it all over the country right now. Then the second point, which is Q4, end of the year, is the best time to buy a new car. We talk about this year in and year out. If we can help you buy that new car, caredge.com, we'd be thrilled to. Dad, Stellantis deals are gonna be through the roof. They have to be, right? The pressure is on them right now to come out with huge incentives. So if you're in the market for a Ram 1500, a Jeep Grand Cherokee, a Dodge Challenger, a, a what? Chrysler, whatever, 300, honestly, like wait till December. And I mean, you can still get deals today, but like I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a massive amount of incentives and pressure on dealers to move inventory even more then than there is right now. Yeah, they have said that they're finally going to attack the uh, incentives much more aggressively than they have, which means ultimately as a consumer, you'll you'll be asked to spend less for the vehicle moving forward than you would have been. Um, hopefully it's, it's not too little too late. Um, it, if it is, then truly this will become the lost automotive mm -hmm. continent of Stellantis. If you wanna get the best price when you purchase any vehicle, check out caredge.com and let us help you out. Thank you, Pops. Thank you.